Hi, my name is Christian Babolinski, and in this video, we're going to be baking an HDRP scene using Google's Surat tool for Unity. Surat is a scene simplification tool that is designed to compress complex scenes so that they can be rendered efficiently on mobile VR devices. And before I show you how to do that, I want to take a moment to thank AntiClerk for creating the original video explaining how to use the tool inside of Unity while using Unity's standard render, and Dimitri Diakopoulos for compiling the Surat program for easier access. Now, let's dive in. In this video, we're going to use a scene from Unity's Sherman project. I chose this scene because it's brightly lit, has a bunch of alpha cutout objects, and has a lot of detail. If you want to download the Sherman project scene into your own project, you'll have to do additional work and remove the non-VR post-processing effect and remove some of the cinematic components. If you want me to do a walkthrough of how I set up my project, let me know in the comments. The first thing you want to do is head over to my GitHub and download the forked version of the Surat plugin for Unity. You can clone it, download it as a zip, or even download the Unity package from the releases tab. Once you have that downloaded, open up your Unity project and import the Unity package. Once the package is imported, it will automatically detect that HD render pipeline. Next, you will have to select a component that you want to capture from. I'm going to use the main camera. Then add a capture headbox component to this object. I'm going to make the headbox size three. The blue gizmo shows you how far you can move within the bounds before you see distortion in the generated mesh. Next, select the output folder. Then the sample count. I've had good results using a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube with 32 samples. If you make the headbox size much larger than that, you will have to increase the sample count. Then the center capture resolution, which is the resolution that the camera uses when taking the initial photos, and then the default resolution, which is the resolution of the samples. Make sure you know your device's pixel per angle density so that you don't increase the resolution more than your device's display resolution. Then select the dynamic range. I found that the standard range gives you more accurate colors. Next, hit capture. While it captures, let's download the compiled Surat application compiled by Dimitri. If you want to compile your own version of Surat, you'll have to look at the how to build documentation on the Surat repo. Next, I'm going to drag these files and put them in the same folder where I have my capture images. Once the capture is finished, open up command prompt and navigate to the location of the Surat application. The directory for my Surat application is the same place as my photos. And that's to make it easier for me to access the photos and the Surat file. So we're going to do CD. And now you can start compiling the images into a mesh. First, write the name of the exe. Then you'll have to specify the input path to the manifest file. Then you'll have to specify the input path, which is the path to the manifest file. Since my captures are in the same folder as my exe, I'm going to write manifest.json. Then the output path, which is the path to the, the directory of the output files and also the base name. Since I'm going to output the files in the same folder, I'm going to write output. Then you have to specify the triangle count. And I did some research and found that popular titles like Dead and Buried only have 75,000 triangles in their whole scene. And VRChat recommends no more than 50,000. So let's render it at 25,000. Next, you'll have to specify the pixels per degree. Pixels per degree are similar to pixel density, except they take into account the field of view. So you can calculate the pixels per degree of your headset by grabbing the horizontal monocular resolution and dividing it by the field of view. So for the Oculus Quest, the per eye resolution is 1280 by 1440, and the field of view is 100. So the value is about 13. Google will compress the pixels per degree if the atlas resolution is greater than 4K. To check if you need to increase the max atlas size, you can roughly calculate the pixels to degree to resolution by multiplying the value by 360. So in this case, 13 times 360 would be 
4680. While that's a little larger than 4K, it's significantly smaller than 8192, which is the next size up. If you need to override the 4K resolution, you'll have to use the texture width and texture height parameters. Finally, you'll have to specify if you want Google to pre-multiply the alpha. I found that this causes artifacts inside of Unity, so I'm going to toggle it to off. Next, I'm going to hit enter. While Surat generates a mesh, I'm going to open up a new Unity project and import the Surat package, except this time I'll have the project set up for the Oculus Quest. With my new project pulled up, I'm going to create a folder for my Surat capture files. After Surat captured, you should have a message that says process completed successfully. So we're going to exit out of that and we're going to grab our output files. We need the output PNG and output OBJ file. And we're going to place them into the Surat scene. Once it's imported, we want to make sure the size is set to 4K and that we have generate mitmaps disabled. We also want to set the wrapping mode to clamp. And we're going to drag the scene into our into our project. We're going to drag our uh, mesh into our scene and turn off the directional light. Then we can create a new material and we're going to set the shader type to alpha blended and select our texture file. So I did drag my viewport and camera kind of to the same location where the image was taken. And if you want to see the scene in the camera, you have to change the clear flags from skybox to solid color if you're using the alpha blended shader. Then I like to make my color black so that the, any cracks look like deep dark shadows. And you have to make sure that, and even now you'll still get artifacts on export. And to fix that, you have to go to the mesh and make sure that read write is enabled and mesh compression is off and optimize mesh is set to nothing. And read write enabled makes sure that it doesn't get overridden from the build settings then hit apply and you should be good to go. Let me know if you have any troubles with the plugin for a um, Surat for HDRP. I did try to add support for both Unity 2018 and 2019.